Welcome to our exploration of the five stages of spiritual awakening. As we journey through these stages together, it's important to recognize that each stage is not just a step, but a transformational experience that reshapes our understanding of ourselves and the universe. The first stage of spiritual awakening is often called the awakening stage itself. Here, you might start to notice that the material world doesn't satisfy your deep yearning for meaning. Perhaps you've experienced moments when the usual pleasures and pains of life seem superficial, prompting a stirring within that suggests there's more to life than what meets the eye. At this initial stage, many of us feel a sense of discomfort. It's like waking up in a room that's too bright after being in the dark for a long time. You're becoming aware of the contradictions in your life and the world around you. You might start questioning the norms and values you've lived by, and this can lead to a feeling of isolation or confusion. But it's also a profound opportunity for growth. During this time, it's crucial to surround yourself with supportive insights and people who encourage your quest for deeper understanding. Meditation, prayer, and reflection can serve as valuable tools. They help quiet the mind, allowing you to experience a reality beyond the constant noise of everyday life. What is your mind revealing to you in these quiet moments? As we progress to the second stage, often referred to as the questioning stage, you might find yourself voraciously reading spiritual texts, attending workshops, or seeking out mentors. This is a phase of learning and unlearning. The fundamental beliefs and the worldview you once held are now under scrutiny. You're gathering new information, and with each piece, you're constructing a more nuanced understanding of spirituality and its role in your life. One powerful practice at this stage is to write down your insights and questions. Writing not only clarifies thought, but also captures the evolving state of your consciousness. How does it feel to see your spiritual evolution taking shape on paper? Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lessons. As you immerse yourself in learning, you might notice that spiritual platitudes and quick fixes become less satisfying. You're developing a taste for truths that resonate on a much deeper level. This is where genuine transformation begins to take root. You're not just learning about spirituality, you're starting to live it. This leads us into the third stage, which is integration. Here, the knowledge and experiences you've been accumulating begin to coalesce into a coherent understanding. But more importantly, this understanding starts to manifest in your daily actions and interactions. Integration means your spirituality is no longer confined to your meditation cushion or your weekly spiritual gathering. It becomes a living, breathing part of every moment. Integration can be challenging because it demands authenticity and consistency. It's not just about knowing spiritual truths, it's about embodying them. How do you treat others when you're stressed or challenged? Are your actions aligned with the compassion and wisdom you've been cultivating? This stage is often marked by significant changes in lifestyle and relationships. You might find certain jobs, activities, and even relationships no longer align with your evolving self. Change can be unsettling, but it's also a clear indicator of growth. Are these changes reflective of the deeper truths you now hold? As you continue to integrate your spiritual understandings, you'll likely encounter moments of profound peace and connection. These moments are affirmations that your spiritual practices are bearing fruit. They encourage you to keep going, to keep aligning your everyday self with your highest ideals. Each of these stages is crucial and builds upon the previous ones. As we conclude this first part, consider how these stages are unfolding in your own life. Are you noticing the stirrings of discomfort that signal the beginning of awakening? 
Or perhaps you're navigating the tumultuous waters of questioning and seeking. As we venture further into the spiritual awakening process, we approach the fourth stage, which can be termed as the realization stage. This stage marks a significant shift from learning and integrating to experiencing profound insights and realizations about the nature of existence, self, and the interconnectedness of all life. In this stage, spiritual truths are no longer just intellectual concepts, but are vividly experienced as real. You might have moments where you feel deeply connected to everything around you, where the boundaries between yourself and the world begin to blur. These are moments of profound joy and peace, often described as glimpses of enlightenment. During the realization stage, your perception of reality is altered. You see things not as you want them to be, but as they truly are. This clarity can come with its challenges. Seeing the world clearly means recognizing both its light and darkness. How does this duality influence your understanding of your own spiritual journey? It's also in this stage that the concept of ego begins to lose its grip. The realization that what we often think of as our self is just a collection of thoughts and experiences can be unsettling yet liberating. The ego doesn't disappear. Rather, its narratives no longer dominate your consciousness. What does it feel like to observe your thoughts and emotions without attachment? Practical application of this awareness is key. It might manifest as a more harmonious approach to relationships, a compassionate outlook, and an unshakable sense of serenity even in the face of difficulties. These changes are profound not just for you but for those around you as your interactions increasingly become reflections of your inner state of peace and understanding. Now, moving into the fifth and final stage of spiritual awakening, known as the service stage, the focus shifts outward. Your journey of personal transformation begins to translate into a commitment to the transformation of others and the world. This doesn't necessarily mean changing careers or becoming a spiritual teacher. It manifests in myriad ways, each uniquely suited to the individual. In the service stage, your actions are motivated by love and a deep sense of connection to all beings. You understand that helping others and caring for the world is an extension of your spiritual practice. Whether it's through volunteering, environmental advocacy, or simply spreading kindness in your daily interactions, every act of service is imbued with spiritual significance. This stage is characterized by a feeling of responsibility, not as a burden, but as a natural expression of your awakened state. How does this responsibility manifest in your daily life? Are there moments when you feel compelled to act, not out of obligation, but out of a genuine desire to contribute to the well-being of others. It's essential to recognize that the journey through these stages is not linear. You might find yourself revisiting earlier stages or experiencing aspects of multiple stages simultaneously. Each individual's journey is unique, and the pace at which we travel through these stages varies greatly. Moreover, the journey of awakening is ongoing. Even in the service stage, there are deeper layers of understanding and more subtle realms of consciousness to explore. The path does not end, it deepens and expands. As we reflect on these stages, consider where you currently find yourself. Are moments of realization becoming more frequent? Are they influencing your actions and choices? Are you feeling a growing impulse to serve? to extend your spiritual insights beyond your personal practice and into the larger world. As we continue to navigate the stages of spiritual awakening, it becomes essential to apply practical tools and exercises that can help us deepen our understanding and enhance our experience. These practices are designed to support your growth at every stage, enabling you to live more fully in alignment with your spiritual truths 
Meditation and Mindfulness These foundational practices are vital across all stages of spiritual awakening. They help to quiet the mind, allowing for a clearer perception of reality and a deeper connection with the self. Begin by setting aside a few minutes each day for seated meditation, focusing on your breath and observing your thoughts without attachment. As you become more comfortable, gradually increase the duration of your practice. Mindfulness can be incorporated into daily activities like eating, walking, or even during conversation. This practice involves maintaining a moment-by-moment -moment awareness of our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and the surrounding environment. How does being fully present in each moment change your experience of daily activities? Journaling. Writing down your thoughts and feelings can be a powerful tool for self-reflection and integration. Use a journal to document your spiritual insights, the challenges you face, and the questions that arise during your journey. Reviewing your entries can provide valuable insights into your growth over time and help illuminate patterns that may be holding you back. Reading and Education Expanding your knowledge through spiritual texts, modern books on consciousness, and even scientific articles can provide new perspectives and deepen your understanding. Choose materials that challenge and inspire you, and take time to reflect on how these ideas resonate with your personal experiences. Community Engagement Connecting with others on a similar spiritual path can provide support and inspiration. Consider joining a spiritual group, attending workshops, or participating in online forums. Sharing your journey can help validate your experiences and offer new insights as you learn from the challenges and successes of others. Nature Connection Spending time in nature can facilitate a profound connection with the larger web of life. Whether it's a daily walk in the park, regular hikes, or sitting by a body of water, nature has a way of grounding us and providing clarity. How do natural settings influence your spiritual experiences? Service and Compassion Practices As you move into the later stages of awakening, actively seek out opportunities to serve. This could be through volunteering, helping a neighbor, or simply offering kindness and understanding to those around you. Engage in practices like loving-kindness meditation, metta, to cultivate compassion towards yourself and others. Artistic expression. Engaging in or appreciating art can be a form of spiritual practice that opens up new avenues for expression and contemplation. Whether it's music, painting, writing, or dance, Creative expression can help manifest internal experiences into external forms, offering new insights into your spiritual journey. Retreats and Solitude Taking time for retreats or periods of solitude can be particularly transformative. These times away from the usual distractions allow for deeper reflection and connection with your spiritual self. Whether it's a weekend retreat or just a day spent in silence, these periods can be pivotal in deepening your understanding. Each of these practices offers a unique pathway to explore the various stages of spiritual awakening. They are not meant to be prescriptive, but rather suggestive, allowing you to find what resonates most deeply with your personal journey. As we near the end of this exploration, it's important to remember that spiritual awakening is a continuous process. Each stage offers its own lessons and challenges, and even as you may find yourself in the service stage, there may still be elements of the earlier stages that reappear and require attention. As we approach the conclusion of our exploration into the stages of spiritual awakening, it's crucial to recognize that this journey is ongoing and dynamic. The path does not have a definitive endpoint. Rather, it involves continuous growth, learning, and adaptation. Here, we will focus on sustaining and nurturing your spiritual life over the long term, 
addressing common challenges and offering strategies to handle them with wisdom and resilience. Embracing the non-linear nature of spiritual growth. Spiritual awakening is rarely a linear process. It's common to cycle through various stages multiple times, each cycle deepening your understanding and experience. Accepting this non-linear nature can alleviate frustration and allow you to embrace each phase with openness and curiosity. Recognize that revisiting earlier stages is not regression, but an opportunity for deeper healing and insight. Maintaining consistency in practice. One of the most significant challenges on the spiritual path is maintaining consistency in your practices. Life's demands can sometimes overshadow your spiritual routines. To counter this, set realistic goals and integrate spiritual practices into your daily life. Whether it's a few minutes of meditation each morning or weekly community meetings, find a rhythm that works for you and stick to it. Consistency is key to deepening your spiritual insights and ensuring steady growth. Dealing with Spiritual Plateaus At certain points, you might feel as if your spiritual growth has stalled, known as a plateau. During these times, it's important to stay engaged. You can introduce new practices or alter existing ones to reignite your enthusiasm. Attending retreats, seeking out new teachers, or exploring different spiritual traditions can provide fresh perspectives and renewed motivation, handling doubts and inner conflicts. Doubts and inner conflicts are natural components of the spiritual journey. When they arise, engage with them constructively. Reflect on the source of these doubts and discuss them with trusted mentors or peers in your spiritual community. Often, these challenges are gateways to deeper understanding and should be approached with honesty and openness. Cultivating a supportive community. A supportive community is invaluable for sustaining long-term spiritual growth. Surround yourself with individuals who inspire and challenge you. Community provides not only emotional support, but also diverse perspectives that can enhance your own understanding. Participate actively and contribute to the community to fully experience its benefits. Integrating spirituality into everyday life. To truly live a spiritually awakened life, integrate your spiritual values into everyday actions and decisions. This means practicing mindfulness, compassion, and integrity in all aspects of life, from work and social interactions to family responsibilities and personal hobbies. Let your spiritual insights guide you in making the world a better place, however small the action might seem. Continuing education and lifelong learning. Spiritual learning is a lifelong endeavor. Continue to read, study, and explore new dimensions of spirituality. This ongoing education will not only sustain your interest, but will also deepen your understanding and appreciation of the spiritual path. Staying open to re-evaluation and change. As you evolve, so too will your spiritual needs and beliefs. Stay open to re-evaluating and changing your path as necessary. What serves you at one stage of your journey may not be as impactful at another. This flexibility is key to a vibrant and relevant spiritual life. The journey of spiritual awakening is one of the most profound and enriching experiences a person can undergo. It transforms not only the individual but also the way they interact with the world. As you continue on this path, remember that each step, whether forward or backward, is part of a greater unfolding. Embrace each moment with grace and gratitude and know that the journey itself is a destination. By maintaining a mindful awareness of these strategies and challenges, you can ensure that your spiritual path remains a source of strength, inspiration, and transformative growth for years to come.